Hello, it's Sarah, and I received these markers in the mail today. Um, they contacted me, Chocola Premium Wet Wipe Markers, and <clears throat> they contacted me and asked if I would do a review, and I said sure, so that's what I'm doing. Um, so far, so good. They're really, this is for a non-porous surface. It says all hard, non-porous surfaces, glass, whiteboards, mirrors, plastics, cart, uh, chalkboards, I'm sorry, ceramics. It washes off with water. They're child and child safe, odorless, really great. They dry quick and la last long. Now, this I've had on here for a while, so I'm letting that sit for a minute. I already doodled on this. This is like a um, it's a very slick surface, but it's like a porcelain, I guess, not porcelain, but you know, a mug type thing, right? So I have this mug from the dollar store. I have, this as an ornament from Michael's, and then I got one of my tins, so I'm going to try that. Um, I did it on, um, gessoed mat board like this. This is one of those, um, this isn't mat board. This is a, a, a canvas board, right? And... It came off there, and I mean, it was a pumpkin. It was the orange. You can kind of see the, I put a pumpkin on there, but what I didn't like was the canvas is kind of rough on the nib. Now the nib is a 5.5 millimeter bullet tip, and it writes really nice. I mean, you can see that. Red doesn't show up that well, but this is what I'm finding. This is matte board. And I thought it was like sealed with something because it's like got a shiny surface, but I think it's still porous. That's the, the issue that I'm having. Um, I wanted to write on black, so like to show what it would look like on black. But when I went to erase it and I colored all this in, it's still showing up. See, like this is erased, believe it or not. So it's, that's, so look, let me just, I'm taking a wet wipe. It comes right off. But I think it is sinking into the surface if it's if it's non-porous. So let's try it on some non-porous. I mean, if it's porous. So let's try it on some non-porous surfaces. So let's just take the black. The only thing I want to say too is I've already brought the ink down. You know, when you get these markers, you have to shake them and then work it down to the tip. So I didn't do the purple yet. It says to hold it, um, cap up, shake well with the cap on and upright. Remove the cap and press the tip to and fro to make multiple times to quickly get the ink flowing. Recap tightly after use and store in a horizontal position. Now, I just did all of them because this took a long time. I'm shaking it and then I'm going to do this. This is what you do. You push down multiple times. Nothing. See, there's nothing there. When I did my um, Posca paint pens, you saw ink right away. So it takes a minute. These are a lot harder to get the ink, but once the ink is flowing, it's, it's beautiful. So still nothing. So then I start to like hold it like this, hold it down longer. I'm not sure if you're supposed to go fast. There's some ink. Look, I see some. If you're supposed to go fast or slow, but it's a workout. See, it's starting to come now. And I, I want to use the purple, so I'm going to... Sorry. It takes a minute, though. But once, it, like I said, I mean, there it is. So there's the ink. I'm going to just do it on my craft mat so I can... All right, cool beans. That is down. I'm going to cap it, and I'm going to use the black real quick. And let's do, like, some Zentangle on here or something. Let's just make a curvy line. And another curvy line and then maybe another one and another one something like this I don't know and put some tangles in there with color so I'll use orange the tip is broad but look how juicy it is there's a lot of ink see and you can you can draw them you can make a dip dot pretty nice pretty nice easy dip that one dip that's pretty cool 
the really, I like the, the quality of the ink and stuff. So it's chalk ink, it says. Premium wet wipe markers, and it says that they are chalk ink. Mostly used on mirror, chalkboard, car glass, plastic, and ceramic. So I would call this, this is like, see? It's like, a, it's like a plate with a shiny surface to it. So let's do some blue. I love the colors. This colors, these colors are um, called party, the party colors, and there are 10 in this pack. I think they're available on Amazon, so I'll put the link um, for that here. It's www.chocola.com, and you can get a discount if you do slash VIP. So I like them. I mean, I think. I think they're really nice markers, to be honest with you, so far. So the black bled into that a little bit, but it's not really on the nib. Let's do pink. You know I'm a pink pink person. Uh, make swirls. Yeah, when I touch the black, it is picking up the black. So I hope I'm not yelling. Um... And let's color in. See, like, if I wanted to color in. Oh, I think if you let it sit for a minute, it won't. No, because the black's been on there a while. These are, like, fluorescent colors. Pretty, huh? I like them. And look, but the black's not really getting on the nib. I want to try and do this tin and see what happens. Let's try and just do stripes of color. I'm going to do black. Ooh, it's working. And I'm going to just color these in to make them um, solid. All right, it's not really, oops, I just went over. I, I got to hold it so I can see what I'm doing. When you use the tip of the um, nib, the um, it's like a really thin line. So you can't, even though it's a bullet, um, it seems like it's a fat point. And look what's happening. It's not really, so maybe tin isn't the best surface. I was hoping it would be. Um, but look, and that did pick up some black on the um, tip. coming off though. I got it off. Um, you know what? I don't even need those black stripes on there. That's what I'll do. I'll take the black so it wipes off really easily. You know what I wanted to see too? If now on the glass this is going to come off because this is, look, it's dry. That's dry. I mean, I can, my ring kind of scratched it there. So it's, it's better than chalk. I mean, you know. Um, so I'm going to try and get, this has been on here for like 10 minutes. So let's say, oop, look at that. Comes right off. So they're perfect for temporary writing, like on a car. Like when kids graduate, I always see, you know, they write all over the car and stuff. These would be great for that. The nib, like, I mean the nib or the tip, right? I don't know if it's bold enough the 5.5 millimeter for um, really letter writing. But if you write it like um, block letters, you're good, you know? All right, so look at that. That's like cleaned off. That's, those are fun to write on. So I have this mug. Uh, <clears throat> let's do it that way. Let's just write dad on here. I'm going to write pop pop. For Joe. I'm going to just use, I don't know if I should use, oh, I didn't use the purple yet. Hello. But look how smooth when you write it on here, on this type of surface. That's what they're meant for, I think. Really, really nice. So I have to hold it so I can see what I'm doing. That looks really good, doesn't it? I mean, well, not the lettering. You know me and my lettering. It's not my fave, but... Oop. I slid around. 
Okay, I'm back. But so that was 10 minutes, but I decided the next day, this is the next day. I'm going to leave out what I filmed after that. Like all I did was go back over what I had already said. So it wasn't like that much information. But what happened after that was when Maya came home from school, we I gave them to her and we totally played on our window here. And you can't really see it because it's so bright. But man, we had fun. And I'm going to attach that footage now so you can see a real, a real demo. <laughs> and honestly, guys, I love them. They're fun. Um, they're well worth it. And I'm going to use, you know, and they come off. So for like an afternoon of fun with the kids, it's worth it. All right, so I'm going to attach that video now. Thanks for watching. Hello, it's Sarah and Maya. Say hi, Maya. Hi. <laughs> um, sorry, that wasn't a good shot. And Kirby, Kirby, Kerb, you were just out there. Okay, so wait a minute. So what I, I decided to do was, Maya's here, and we are playing with the markers. And I just did a video, but it was way too shaky. So there's some stuff I did up there. My son wrote his name. Oh, you can't really see it. But we are having so much fun. Right, Mai? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to do a little bit right here. I'm going to zoom in a little. So let me try and... Mai, look through the viewfinder for me. Kirk, you watch yourself. Mai, I'm going to let her out. And see if you can see. Look through the camera for a sec and see if you can see me. Like, can you see right my hands? Only your hands. You can see my hands? Yeah. Okay, good, because I'm going to make things. Like, can you see... I can't see anymore because it's too high. So point the camera so you can see my hands. Good? Thank you. So Mai, how old are you? Eight. And what do you think of these markers? I like them. What's, what's, what do you like about them? That you can draw on the windows and they can erase so you can restart. I know, right? So you can totally see, now can you see this flower? Yeah. You can see everything pretty good? All right, good, so you're filming right now. I'm just gonna do, I like, I think this is super cool. Now, I think I saw another video about these and the lady had a mirror and she did like swirls in the corners of a mirror, like that would be great, like to, oh my dog, well, she's always, she's always there. I love the purple, I wanna do pink. So I did, oh wait, let me do these leaves cause this is a cool leaf. Tell me if you can see these leaves, Mai. Kay. Are they in the shot? Yeah. Okay. Because I went like this, and then I like colored kind of like that. That looks cool, right? Yeah. I think so. Let me try it. Let me color in the purple with pink. So sometimes I notice like you lose a little, um, go ahead, you're good. I'm going to point it at you and you do some in a minute. Uh, I'm going to try, I'm going to try yellow. These colors are beautiful. They are, these are called the party no, colors. No. Yes, babe. Look, I put like some flowers on my tree. Oh, honey, that's awesome. So you're having so much fun. Do you want to show yours? Yeah. Show yours. Turn it. Now look through there and see if you can, she made this whole little, Vignette. She has clouds in the sky. Yeah, I wanted to use the white. I'm going to put Welcome Home. This is like um, uh, a heart spider. spider. <laughs> and it's heading for the tree to get some water on the leaves. And there's like some flowers on the tree that I put. And here's like the grass and stuff. Uh huh. The trees of the root. Uh huh. The roots of the tree. Mm -hmm. And I put some flowers. Here's the worm that the bird is gonna try to come down and swoop <laughs> up. Right. And the sun. I see your and big sun and the clouds in the sky. And here's the clouds. Yeah, and I love it. The flowers and the grass. So that's awesome. Are we having fun? Yeah. I think so. All right, you guys. I just wanted to share. So this was um. You know, just an afterthought. I grabbed the, the pack and um, 
figured Maya was here. She's the perfect one to show us what she thinks of it. Because, uh, you know, she's eight. And I think they're great for kids. I think you could get the kids to do Christmas decorations on there or whatever and just have a, a have a fun afternoon. Oh, she's got a baby wipe. So you're just taking that off. Flip it around and do it again. Yeah, there you go. Because the um, the directions, there you go, perfect. So she used a, a baby wipe first and then a tissue to just take off the residue. But the um, directions say like, say that was on there for like all day, like I'm gonna leave it up there um, till my husband gets home and then I'm gonna take um, Windex and just clean the window um, with Windex after and see if it all comes off. I'm making another heart spider. I love it, Mai, you're doing awesome. So cute. All right, you guys, so that was just a little extra. Um, we're having fun, right? Mm -hmm. So if you had to do a review on these markers, what do you think, what would you say about them? I told you I like that they come off of the windows and they're pretty colors. Yeah. And you can draw on the windows. Okay, and the, the quality of the right, it's like really good. Well, what does that say, Mom? Mom? Mm -hmm. Is that you. me? <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. <laughs> well, well, it's all right. Um, so yeah, so we both no, give this them. This one's the bigger one, so that's you. Oh, okay. We both give them a ten. I give these markers a ten for sure. Me too. Um, because they definitely, they the they write so juicy. Like there's a lot of um, ink in there, and um, they're fun. It's it's definitely fun. But so. the orange is running out. Of well, the orange isn't. It's because I used it on canvas. I think I beat the nib up. Let me try the orange real quick because um, I, I tried to, I did um, um, You try in like three a seconds. A pumpkin. Huh? You dry in like three seconds. They do. They dry pretty fast. Um, I did a pumpkin. It keeps looking like a heart. And I think I damaged the nib. A little bit, and maybe. I'm, gonna do I'm not even sure because it, it works fine. Should I do the boys a star? Yeah, that's a good idea, Maya. So there's hearts and star spiders and bugs. But no, the orange is working fine now, see? Yeah, it's because you did that to it. Well, yeah, I, so I think maybe you have to reload it or something. Um, but there's brown, like this one came with brown which I think is a, an excellent color to have in the mix. Like, a lot of times you just get pretty colors, which I love pretty colors, but, but yeah, you see, the orange is working okay. So here's red. The red is like a gorgeous red too, it's so pretty. It looks pink. And then the purple I did, the pink, the yellow. The blue. Do you have the blue? Here's the blue. Ouch. I think the blue had a little bit of black on it, on the nib, and it's, um, they write excellent. They write so, so nice. So hopefully that's all in the shot. Let me see. Yeah. All right, you guys. So my battery's wait, blinking. Wait, wait, wait. I wanna, um, what? Show, show the star me. spiders? Oh my! Look, I think we've, I think we've said. Oh. That's pop pop. This is my mama. This is my pop pop. <laughs> this is my daddy, and this is me. Aww, the bug family. Yep. Love it. And there's my pool. We're putting in a new pool liner this weekend. Where's like, the white? The white is probably underneath the napkins. All right, you guys. I love them. They get a 10 for me. It was super fun. Thanks for watching.